Good evening and welcome to the Griffin School Year 6 Open Evening. Um, this short video is to tell you a little bit about what happens in P and sport. Um, hopefully you'll find it interesting because um, there's so many opportunities that we'd love to share with you. We're incredibly lucky at the Griffin School as we've got some amazing P facilities. Uh, we've got a multi-use uh, sports hall which can feature many, many sports. We've also got a full-size all-weather AstroTurf pitch which is a brilliant resource all year round. Uh, and we also have a brand new state-of-the-art fitness suite uh, which features a, a variety of cardiovascular machines and also weight machines. Um, we've also got our dance studio which is, is used by a lot of students throughout the day. Um, and we're really, really proud of our extensive playing fields which include four football pitches, two four-side rugby pitches, as well as a 400 metre athletics track. Uh, in addition to this, we also have a uh, hardcore area, which can hold six netball courts, as well as five tennis courts. So we're really, really lucky with all the facilities we have. The PE curriculum for year seven has been carefully designed to sort of maximise the potential of all students. Um, as you can see from the image, uh, students will follow a variety of sports throughout the year where each sport they'll spend a half term uh, performing in. Uh, sometimes it's inside, sometimes it's outside. Uh, but the purpose of it is to try and teach um, the pupils as many skills as we possibly can, as well as give them the opportunity to compete against each other and indeed to play for the school um, afterwards. Sport is really popular at the school and we and we always have a, a variety of events that take place throughout the year to try and bring pupils together. Uh, sometimes they can they can be within their own tutor group or year group, but they can also be in their P lessons where they're competing against uh, other pupils, other pupils with uh, the in-house sporting events that we run at the end of every term. Um, we also have a, a really prestigious uh, school sports day for the whole school at the, at the end of the year which is a really great, great event where everyone comes together. Um, it's a lot of fun and you also try and earn points for your tutor group. Um, another sort of really highly anticipated event is our annual sports award evening, where we try and recognise all the, the sporting talent that we have inside of school, but also outside of school, because we know that pupils put in a lot of effort and time and energy and their, their parents are really supportive with their sort of sporting performances. So we, we like to recognise that at uh, our annual event, which takes place at the Digby Hall. Um, but as I said, sports are a really, really big thing at the school um, and it, it provides pupils with a, a really great sense of achievement and uh, the opportunity to be proud as a Griffin student. Another area within P and Sport is our sort of extracurricular opportunities. Um, we put on an extensive uh, array of, of clubs at lunchtime and also after school uh, where pupils throughout the school can, can come along and, and meet new people, uh, make new friends, but also do something they really enjoy. Um, and this, uh, this selection of clubs always changes every half term. So we try and put as many different opportunities as we can. And as I said, because we're very lucky with all our facilities, we try and make the best use possible. Um, and also after school, there's um, opportunities for, for pupils to really hone their skills and, and improve their performance. And hopefully if they're lucky enough, they can also play for the school. We do have as, as many fixtures as we can fit in. Um, and lots and lots of students, both boys and girls, can play regularly on a weekly basis. And finally, something else that we've we've been developing over the years is our links with local sporting community clubs. Um, you know, th these are really, really important to us at the school um, because they not only help us with teaching and coaching uh, pupils new skills and new techniques, but they also give them the opportunity to, to play outside of school. So we can see from the screen that there's some local clubs that we, we uh, regularly contact and recommend students go along to. And there are also other ones that we're in contact with throughout the year. 